what inspired me, us, to, to become astronauts? And for me, I think it was really simple. Growing up, hanging out at the airport with my family, my father loved to fly, and he shared that with us. And as time went on, the whole wanting to fly, learning to fly, how do things fly, all of that turned into, well, what better fl place to fly than space? I was in my early 20s when uh, Sally Ride, the first American woman astronaut, came to my college, to MIT, and gave a talk. And just the fact that I could look at her and just identify with her, she looked real to me. It made it real to me. There's an element of really realizing that this could be you, and then there's an element where you think, maybe I have what it takes to try to do that. And those are two different pieces mm -hmm. that I think is what our education program is all about. It's a big deal. And you look at mission control now, and there's no question about it. I mean, it's, you know, women are just there. And, right. it's, and I think we get to the point, at least I did when I was flying, too, to say, until somebody asked me, well, what's it like to be the only woman on this crew? It's like, wow, I'm not, I'm not even really thinking about it until you ask me that question. At Harvey Mudd College, they uh, have achieved 50% women in, in computer science, which wow. is typically very, very male-dominated. And they started to look at, well, what do we teach in that first course? And how do we teach it? And they made it more about stories and sort of fixing something, being what part of a solution that is more appealing to women, typically. I think being a role model happens by default because it's it's a very public job, and I'm, I'm very proud to do what I do, not because I'm a woman, just because it's it's a really important job, and it's a special job, and I'm, I'm pleased and honored to do it. And in that way, you're always going to be a role model. I think it's really, it's really nice to be able to share that with with people who might be questioning, or kids especially, that mm -hmm. might be questioning themselves. You know, boys and girls. I, you know, I've found, and you know, you'll get out of a classroom, and a and a teacher will come up to you and say something like, "Wow, it's really great to have you here. You know, we need more role models like this, and we need, you know, to be able to show kids that there are very positive and, like you say, important things that they can be doing." out in the world, you know, making life better for everybody here on the planet and mm -hmm. helping explore and all of that kind of thing. And it always makes me feel good every time I hear that. And I think it's nice for them to realize that you're a real person who has, you know, doubts about the choices that you make, that not everything is easy for you. And I try to really say, yeah. you know, this isn't easy for me. There's things that are really hard for me and it just means I have to lose my pride and ask for more explanations. And if that's still not enough, I ask for one more. And, you know, but it doesn't mean that it's not for me. If math is hard for me, it doesn't mean that math isn't for me. Right. And, and that you can really get there doing those things. It's exciting, isn't it? Um, this is our first morning here. Uh, it's a few days before we start filming. Uh, so we're just sort of having a little recce look around. And 